Okay, nice trial and improvement or a trial and error method. And in order to get ourselves ready for this, let's just draw ourselves a table. So let's remember this question is all about sandwiches. Now that sounds a little bit weird, but hopefully it will make sense once I get going. So we're going to put our guess in here. We're going to put our answer in here, and you need to check these numbers on your calculator. You can't just watch this, you need to check it as you're doing it. And then over here, we're going to say whether it's too big or too small. And we want to get towards our answer of 500 using x cubed plus 6x squared. Well, it says there's a solution between 6 and 7, so that's a starting point for us. So let's start with a guess of 6. And then I need to do 6 cubed plus 6 lots of 6 squared. Now this bit, this 6x squared is an absolutely vital bit. This means I've got to square, then multiply by 6. Square, then times by 6. So check you're getting the same answers that I'm getting on my calculator with yours. So when we put 6 in, I get 6 cubed plus 6 times 6 squared and I should get my answer of 432 well for this first one I'll break it up for you so you can check you're doing the right thing so 6 cubed is 216 eventually I'm just going to tap it into my calculator and then I need to do 6 lots of 6 squared so 6 times 36 so times 6 is equal to 216 as well, so adding that together, I get 432. I'm aiming for 500, so I'm too small, so I'm going to go up to my guess of 7. And I'm just going to do it all in one go now, I'm not going to break it up into parts, I'm just going to write the answer in. So check you know how you're using the calculator. 7 cubed plus 6 times 7 squared, and I get the answer 637, so I'm now too big. This is my first sandwich. So my answer is between 432 and 637. Major sandwich, the 500 is between, so I'm going to wrap my sandwich up in cling film. Move on to the decimals. 6.5 cubed plus 6 times 6.5 squared. I get the answer 528. 0.125. So my answer is too big. So I've zoomed in after doing this and I'm now going to go to 6.4. 6 6.4 cubed plus 6 times 6.4 squared is 507.904. Again, my answer is getting closer, but it's still too big. I'm going to check and I'm only going one step at a time. As I'm going down here, I'm not jumping answers, I'm going one step at a time. 6.3 cubed plus 6 times 6.3 squared. Here we go. When I do that, I now get the answer 488.187. So now my answer is too small. I've sandwiched that 500 again between these two answers. So make a second sandwich, wrap it up in cling film, and I'm done. And all I've got to do now is work out which one's closer out of these because it says my answer has to be one decimal place if it's to one decimal place I've got to go to two as a check it's a bit like sneaking to the fridge and having that little bit of ham let's tap this in quick I'm running out of time 6.35 cubed plus 6 lots of 6.35 squared and I get the answer 497.9 Seven five, and that answer is still too small. So my final thirty seconds of my video. Out of the last three things I've got, I made one sandwich. I made a second sandwich. I know the answer's between here. I tried exactly the middle, and I know that this is small. This is small. So the odd answer out is the big answer. I know my answer, the closest one I got, was even though this answer is closer uh, in terms of numbers. In terms of rounding to one decimal place, I know my answer is 6.4 rounded to one decimal place, just in time.